let's begin the reading of paragraph two by looking at this diagram which actually shows reflection and absorption and it shows emission so we're looking at reflection absorption and emission of energy so let's look at this graph let's not worry too much about percentages right now but just take a look at what's actually happening radiant energy comes in of all the solar radiation coming in some gets absorbed by the atmosphere some gets reflected by the atmosphere some gets reflected by the surface down here some gets reflected by the surface and then some of that radiant solar energy is absorbed and transformed into thermal energy by the planet itself of all of that energy that gets absorbed by the planet some is emitted or released when we studied energy we talked about energy being stored and released so we could say emission is the same thing as release so some of the stored energy in the surface of the planet is emitted or released back out into space some of that energy that's released makes it all the way out into space where it came from some of that energy however is absorbed by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and held in or actually released into the atmosphere back down toward the ground some into the atmosphere out toward space but of some of that energy that's emitted by the earth that was originally stored from solar radiation coming in as that is emitted some makes it all the way out some is absorbed by greenhouse gases and held into the planet to help keep the planet a constant temperature so there are some other processes that occur on the surface of the planet and in the atmosphere and for now just make a note that how the atmosphere heats and cools it's actually called convection it begins by heat from the planet being conducted to the air right above the ground the air molecules that are actually touching the surface of the earth there's heat conducted to those molecules and then those molecules actually conduct to other molecules and then as all the molecules in a huge area of air warm they rise into the atmosphere and that accounts for some of the thermal energy that's released from the surface and then there's also energy that is stored in the water vapor that's in the atmosphere that evaporates from the ground that also stores energy and this is actually it's called latent heat or latent thermal energy and this is actually what makes weather so there are other processes that allow thermal energy to be released into the atmosphere but the primary release of thermal energy occurs just by the cooling at night heating during the day and cooling at night so let's read paragraph two of the greenhouse effect 